Greetings comrades, Multigame Master one reporting in, and welcome back to Let's Play 100% Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode, Mumbo Jumbo and Humba Wumba helped us explore more of Grunty Industries, so now in this episode, we are going to finish up everything we can within Grunty Industries. We're going to start things off by going through this door over here that leads into the air conditioning plant located in the basement. And if we make a left, we will see a batch of notes which we will go ahead and take. And up here, along this ladder, we will eventually come to a wire in which the electrical surge was flowing through, and it opened up this door. So now we can check to see what's inside the repair depot. Let's see what's in here anyway. That's a long way down to the bottom. Well, only one way to get down there quickly. Banzai! Why Banjo and Kazooie didn't take a hit after they hit the ground, I don't understand. Oh my goodness. What on earth is that? I think it looks like an enormous toilet cleaner. Well, he doesn't seem to be very mobile. See how the poor thing struggles to get in here. This shouldn't be much trouble then. Banjo, Kazooie, does that look like a toilet cleaner to you? No, it looks like a giant metallic snake with a huge iron body. I'm pretty sure no one could even tame that thing. Weldar, visually impaired welding torch. Ahem, I believe it states quite clearly in the workers' guidelines that bears are not to be let into the building. So? Well, you're a bear, aren't you? Uh, no. Oh, I must remember to wear my glasses. Well, I'm out now, so I might as well go to work on you. The sixth boss battle now begins. What you want to do for now is avoid coming in contact with Weldar. Time to turn up the power dial, I think. He'll start shooting electric balls towards you. Make sure you avoid those. You'll have to come closer. I can't seem to hit you. When he attempts to try to suck you in, shoot a grenade egg into his mouth for him to take damage, just like that. Oh, please refrain from doing that. I'm full of flammable gas. How about a few nuts and bolts? Oh, you have a copy of that game too? Cool, let's play it. Oh, you meant those nuts and bolts. Never mind. When you defeat the nuts and bolts, shoot another grenade egg into his mouth. Perhaps if I use my weight a little more. For this next phase, make sure you avoid him. Don't make me come after you. Stay away from him for as long as you can. And eventually he will tire out and do something else. Wait, did he just jump? How the heck did he get up there? He's too big and heavy in order to get up there. Here's another grenade for you. This isn't going as planned. Where's my emergency switch located? That's better. Now let's see how nimble you are. Now while you're taking on Weldar, make sure you avoid the electric parts of the floor. Otherwise you will take damage. So it's pretty much second verse same as the first at this point. Just rinse and repeat. That's all I can say. Here's another grenade for you. Boom. And again, we have those Nuddas, Boltoids, and Wash-Ups. Wait, where'd the, where'd the Wash-Up go? Did it just glitch? There it is. Okay. Hey, Weldar, are you hungry? Eat this! Hey, how about we play a nice game of Tag? Tag, you're it! Come on, Weldar, let's see if you can keep up with me. Dude, you are just way too slow. You can't even keep up with me. You might as well just give up at this point, because you're never going to touch me. Whoa, that was a bit too close there. Come on down, I know you want to play some more. This will end you. Take this. Boom. Oh well, looks like my welding days are over. They sure are. Oh, that's gotta hurt. So now that Weldar is defeated, he crashes into the power box and that causes an electrical surge to flow through the pipes and therefore destroys that box up there. I wonder what's so good about that. 
Well, I guess we'll find that out soon. And also, the boss door opens. Also, once you defeat Weldar, the giant fan inside that room will power down, and you'll need it in order to get to the jiggy up there that you see. In the meantime, though... Hey, Weldar, you feeling good? Oh, I appear to be quite badly injured. That's too bad. Now where's our prize? <sighs> I guess I can let you have this. A shock jump disc pad? Oh, come on! Is that all we get? You gotta be kidding! You may use it to get back out. I stashed my Jakey behind the giant fan for safekeeping. But there's nothing to stop you from reaching it now. Don't! When will I learn to keep my big mouth shut? Probably never, especially considering that you're just lying there on the floor with your mouth open. Anyway, now that Weldar is defeated, we can use the shock jump disc pad to make our way up to the ladder and make our way out of here so that we can get the Jiggy stashed away behind the giant fan. Before we do that though, there is one thing that we can get inside this room. And once we make our way to the top of the ladder, we will retrieve the item of interest. Now that we've made it up to the top, if we move along the pipes here, we will eventually come to a Cheeto page. Don't worry about slipping off, and you don't even need to bother using your talent trot. You can just run along it if you want to. And now that we have the Cheeto page, let's make our way out of here. And get that Jiggy behind the giant fan. As I think about it, I realize that we haven't completed everything 100% within Grunty Industries as of yet. But that's because that there are some Jiggies in which we can't get to as of yet. We still need to learn some new moves from Jam Jars. But once we do, we will come back. For now, we're just going to take this Jiggy. Also, with the giant fan turned off, you can now access this part of the waste disposal plant. Let's go on in and see what we can find. A pool of toxic waste dead ahead of us. And if we look down it, we will see another Jiggy. We can't get to it right now. We're actually going to worry about that a little later. I just hope it doesn't melt while we're gone. Okay, now that we've completed everything we could within Grunty Industries, we can now make our way out of here. Also, you don't have to worry too much about this giant door. There's nothing that you can do in order to open it. No means of blasting it with grenades. No switch in order to cause it to open. Nothing. It'll just have to remain closed. And I will admit that during my first playthrough of this game, I always wonder what was behind that passageway and if you could get there. But, after trying numerous things like locating a switch and trying to bomb it, and even looking up a guide for this game, I came to the conclusion that the door just can't be open whatsoever. So I guess that's one mystery that's going to have to be left unsolved. Okay, now let's make our way out of Grunty Industries, my favorite level in the game. Aww, I love this place, it's a cool factory. And I have fun being in it. Speaking of being in... Factories... I have been in some factories before. Robot factories, chemical factories, pizza factories. And I know a pizza factory has nothing to do with science, but I'm mentioning it anyway, because it's a cool place. In fact, as I think about it, about 15 years ago, I went on a field trip in which I went to an actual pizza factory. I don't remember the name of the place because it was a long time ago, but basically what happened there is that the workers showed us how they made pizzas. They moved the pizza dough along the conveyor belt and also had pepperoni sauce, cheese, and pepperoni slice dispensers. They also had a giant oven to make sure that the pizza was cooked thoroughly with perfection. I could tell you guys more about this, but like I said, it was a long time ago and I don't remember much detail about it. But I will tell you this, we ended up eating those pizzas at the end. Free of charge, of course. At any rate, we've used the Claw Climber Boots to make our way up here. Now we can see what's up here. Cauldron Keep Secret Exit. I have a feeling we're getting close to the end, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. This switch will activate the Shock Jump Disc Pad right below us, so we can use it to get back up here if we need to. Also, here's a thing I forgot to show you within Banjo-Tooie. 
It is written that 55 Jiggies are required to open this door. You have enough Jiggies to attempt my challenge. Do you wish to warp to my sacred temple? Yes. So when you have enough Jiggies to open up another world, you can use a Jiggy pedestal in order to warp your way back over to Master Jiggy Wiggy's temple. Two things though. One, it'll only work in areas in which the world has not been unlocked yet. And the second thing is you need to make sure you have enough Jiggies, otherwise it's not going to work. With that said, let's get on with Jiggy Wiggy's challenge number seven. All right, now this piece fits here. This one doesn't fit here. Where does this go? There we go. If you guys ask me how good I am at jigsaw puzzles, let's just say that I'm fairly decent. Of course, I have played with numerous jigsaw puzzles in the past, so I do have some experience. They're a lot of fun, and I will get more into that later. Let's see. This piece fits here. This fits over here. Come on, fit. Oh, wait, it doesn't fit over here. Okay, right here. Last one. And there we go. Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 7 is now complete. So now we can unleash more of the great magic. Wait, is my game frozen? It better not be. Oh, thank you. I was a bit worried for a second. I don't know why the game does that. Here comes the power. The power of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oops, wrong game. What's wrong with me? Now it seems as though that the next world we're looking for is located in the Isle of Hags cliff top. Located over there. A magical blast from Master Jiggy Wiggy will cause the door to open just like that. So now we can get inside world seven. But real quick, let's see if we have enough Jiggies for the next challenge. We do! So now we can attempt Jiggy Wiggy's challenge number 8. Master Jiggy Wiggy, please shut up. I'm familiar with the dialogue already. Thank you. We need 45 Jiggies for this next challenge, by the way. Okay, let's get started. So this fits here, and this fits over here. Doing good as of so far. And as I say that, I already screwed up. Well, I still have plenty of time to complete this puzzle piece. Or puzzle picture, rather. This one fits here. I guess I could go back to my story. When I was little, I had a huge obsession over jigsaw puzzle pieces. Whenever I would go to a local Target or Toys R Us, I would just ask my parents right away for another jigsaw puzzle that I could play with. I had a huge obsession with those, and I played a lot of them actually. I've solved numerous puzzles in the past. In fact, the most challenging one that I've ever played with was a picture with a thousand jigsaw puzzle pieces. And I can't recall if I actually completed it, but it was a whole lot of fun. It definitely kept me busy for a while. At any rate, with challenge number 8 complete, we can now unleash more of the great magic from Jiggy Wiggy. And why the music is sped up at this point, don't ask me. I don't know why that happens. Okay, so it seems as though that World A can be found in the Isle of Hag's Wasteland through that passageway over there. Oh, I think I know where this is going, and I'll bet you guys have an idea at this point. A magical blast will cause a bubble to appear. So we can use that to make our way up to the heavens and proceed into World 8. But we're not going to worry about that just yet. Let's see, do we have enough Jiggies for Challenge 9? We do! So as soon as Master Jiggy Wiggy stops talking, we can get on with it. Thank you. 55 Jiggies, let's do this. Okay, now let's begin. Whoa! The image inside this picture, it's really bleak and dark if you ask me. Uh, where does this piece go? If it's right there. I have a feeling that this aerial we're looking at will get us one step closer to the end game, which we won't come to for some time. And also, why is Banjo dangling on the side of the cliff? Whoever was attempting to show this off 
well, I don't really have much of a response to it, but it would be much more better if Banjo was walking on solid ground instead of suspending himself above the air precariously. But I digress. At least Banjo has learned the ledge grabbing ability. With challenge number 9 complete, we can now unleash more of the great magic. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy! Oh good, I got it right that time. Now let's see where we can find this next world. Isle O'Hag's Quagmire. We already opened up Grunty Industries. Where else can... Oh, wait a second. Yes, that electric fence. One blast from Jiggy Wiggy will cause the electric fence to go down. So now we can get inside the cauldron key. But like World 8, we're not going to worry about that just yet. Now, do we have enough Jiggies for the next challenge? Because I don't think we're done. We do not. Okay, um, well, let's just make our way out of here. How many Jiggies do we need for the next challenge? Let me see real quick. 70. Okay, we have 60, so once we get 10 more Jiggies, we will come back to it. Now, before we end this episode, I am going to do some backtracking. And the first place I'm going to go to is a familiar place in which burgers and fries can be sold. So, I'm going to cut here and meet you guys over at Witchy World. Still breathing heavily on the burgers, I see, eh, Big Al? Has anyone ever told you that you should cover your mouth? Really, Salty Joe? You sneezed on the fries. Get a tissue or something, will you? Jeez. Okay, now that we've got some burgers and fries, we can make our way back over to Terry Dattle Land and feed those Oogle Boogles. Now, I bet you guys are wondering, how can we get back to Terry Dattle Land from Witchy World easily? Especially given the fact that security is all over Witchy World, and if you try to leave the park with the food, Grunty will take it off you. Well, if you grab a pair of claw climber boots back at the big tent and make your way over here along the claw prints, you can get to the passageway that connects Witchy World and Terry Dathe Land together. Notice that there aren't any signs here, also. So, you can sneak from Witchy World over to Terry Dathe Land easily. And now that we're back in Terry Dathe Land, let's find those Oogle Boogles again and feed them. Save them from extinction or a bad case of hunger. Me need food you got. You give? Sure. Here you go. Some fresh fries. If you don't mind Salty Joe's snot. Mmm, that tasty. Me all happy now. You're welcome. Okay, so that's one Oogle Boogle taken care of and two left. Let's make our way up here and take care of the next one. Hey, I've got some better food for you. Better than rocks. Here, take this. Fresh fries. Also, I just realized that Banjo and Kazooie have just been giving these guys fries. If the last Oogle Boogle doesn't want a burger, I'm going to be a bit upset because I'll have time wasted with Big Al. Hey, buddy. Look, stop eating the rocks and have some better food right here. Okay, cool. He did want a burger. I was about to say. There you go. You're all happy now. You're welcome. Bear and bird friends save Oogle Boogle tribe from extinction. Must have reward now. When you warm and feed all the Oogle Boogles in their cave, you get a jiggy in return. Why are there teeth marks on it? Me thought chocolate was inside. Uh, chocolate? So you thought that this Jiggy was a chocolate bar. But it's not even encased in a golden candy bar wrapper or something. You Oogle Boogles seriously need to watch what you guys eat. Oh man, teeth marks on this Jiggy. It's gonna be hard for that to come off. In fact, I don't even know if it's going to come off at all. Well, I suppose it'll still be fine. Anyways, now we're going to make our way back over to the Stomping Plains because now that Banjo has learned the move Snooze Pack, 
he can now get across stomping planes, maybe not the easiest way, but it's the best way possible. So, let's do this. Oh man, Stompanodon is still around. Imagine that. Ow, pain. Here and there, I'm going to take some short naps and just recover my health up to two units, just to save up on time. Okay, make it, make it. Ow, pain. Ouch. This really hurts. I feel bad for Banjo. Okay, wait for it. And go. Go, 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 go. Ow. This hurts. There should have been a better way in which Banjo could navigate through the stomping plains of Land. I mean, seriously. The way he has to go about this must be painful for him. I don't even know how he can recover from this. Well, I guess... One way is sleeping, apparently, instead of going to a hospital. Good morning, Banjo. You slept well? Feel better? Good. Now that we've made it across, let's step on this switch and open the door dead ahead of us to reveal a secret passageway. It leads into the next world, so we're going to have Banjo and Kazooie reunite with each other before we go in. Now it's Kazooie's turn. Although she is more faster than Banjo, so it's an easy cakewalk for her. Almost there. This Stompanodon is such a nuisance, even if you're moving fast. Now that Banjo and Kazooie have been reunited with each other, let's see what's beyond this passageway over here. Through it, you will come to an ice cave, and here's where you can get the next Jiggy. Now the last thing we're going to do is to make our way back to the Isle of Hag's cliff top to pick up one last thing, so I'm gonna cut here and meet you guys over there. Real quick, let me see if you can keep the burgers and fries from Witchy World. Yes, we can! Also guys, I was promising that I would save you guys some, if you still prefer eating them, that is, especially with Big Al coughing on the burgers and Salty Joe sneezing on the fries. Now that we're back here at the Isle of Hags clifftop, let's grab a pair of claw clamber boots and make our way back to the stone wall right behind us. Carefully, carefully. I was about to fall there. Now as I was saying, you guys might notice that there are some claw prints right away. So with the boots, you can just walk along them. And up here is a Jinjo that you can rescue. Now let's see if we can find that entryway to World 7. Ha, you missed, Ugger. There it is, dead in our sights. The next world lies before us. Let's go ahead and take it on next time, because we are out of time for this episode. So in the next episode, we are going to proceed into World 7 within the Isle of Hags. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until the next episode, this is Multigame Master 1. Over and out. See you later, comrades.